Today we're going to use a watercolor technique called wet on wet to create a geode. Geodes are rocks that are plain on the outside but can have beautiful crystals on the inside. In the Greek language, geode means shape of the earth and geodes are round like the earth or oblong like an egg. They can be a couple inches or several feet in size. Have you ever opened or cracked open a geode to find crystals inside? Geodes, if you look, are very beautiful in colors. We're going to create a painting that looks like the inside of a geode today. This project, you're going to need some table salt. It can be any kind of table salt, um, sea salt or just regular. You're going to need some watercolor paint, water, a paintbrush, and a white piece of paper. Um, you'll also need a sharpie marker and there's going to be a point where you can use a metallic sharpie marker. Um, if you have that, feel free to use it. You're going to write your name and your date on the back and then flip your paper over like we always do. Um, first thing you're going to do is decide how you want to hold your paper. I'm actually going to paint three geodes on my paper. If you want to do just one, you could. Um, we're going to be using watercolor paints and I'm going to be choosing cool colors today. That's colors like purple, like blue, green. Those are the cool color family and that's the colors I'm going to use today. If you'd like to use the warm color family, you can do that. But I like the cool colors. I'm going to do those. First thing, I'm going to dip, swipe, and swirl in my paint, getting enough on my brush so where I can see it. And then I'm going to paint an oval. I'm going to start in the corner of my paper. Once I paint an oval, I'm going to actually dip my brush in the water, not scrubbing, just giving it a little drink and swirling that into the inside of my paint. Next thing I'm going to do is scrub and get a different cool color to put inside of my wet blue. I'm choosing a lime green this time. I'm going to swirl that in to kind of mix it up and then I'm going to add a little bit more water to my painting. This water is going to help the salt stick to it. So I'm going to add one more color I think, this time a little bit more of that darker blue around the edges to make it a little bit more interesting. And now the fun part. I'm going to take a pinch of salt and sprinkle it into the wet areas of my paint. This creates that crystally look like inside of a geo. I'm going to let that one dry and I'm going to do the same thing again. This time choosing a different color. I'm going to choose purple. I'm going to repeat this step so that I just did two more times and create two more geodes. Remember, you want your paint to be good and juicy, wet. So make sure you're giving your paintbrush lots of drinks of water. That way the salt has something to cling to. I'm going to go ahead and finish those up and I'll meet you back in just a second. Just a pinch of salt on my last one, and now I have three geodes. The hard part, before we can go to the next step, we have to let it dry. All right, so this is where the metallic colors would come in. If you have metallic markers, this would be a good time to use them. I'm gonna go around the edge of my dried painted geode, and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a metallic color. Gel pens would work. If you don't have metallic colors or crayons or, or whatever material that would be metallic, you could just use crayons to outline, that's okay. I just wanted to give mine a little bit of a shimmer, so I'm gonna try to use these. It looks like my silver might even be dried out, but I'm still gonna try to get the last little bit out of it. Um, I'm gonna finish tracing around these, and then we're gonna make some fun little details around the outside edge of our geodes. Now 
now I'm taking my black marker and I'm just going around it to give it an even bolder edge. You could be done. This could be your geode. And you, it looks beautiful and you can hang it up. But I want to make mine a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to add some Zen Doodles, some organic shapes. That means they kind of look just like bubble shapes around my geodes, giving it kind of like a natural effect. Inside of these shapes, I'm going to add a different design or pattern to make it kind of like a zen tangle. Um, we talked about those earlier this year, and you can add any kind of patterns in those. If you want to not do a background and just cut yours out and glue it, that would be fine too. I just think it looks really cool when we add some black and white organic shapes in the background. It really makes our geodes pop. when I paint geodes, I use something called analogous colors. Those are colors that are neighbors on the color wheel. In this painting, I chose anal analogous colors. I really love how the black and white Zentangle background makes our analogous colors of our geodes pop. I hope that you had fun learning how to use the wet on wet salt technique of watercolors, and I can't wait to see your creations.